guys uh, here at beautiful Imperial Lakes and uh, had some new skis to test. Uh, sure love to hear some of your comments uh, about it. Uh, Dave Miller? Yeah, well, we uh, first of all, I tried the, um, uh, the, the new white one. Um, the Nano. Nano, new construction, and I thought that was awesome. Ran a really nice 39 on it, and, and that was, you know, pretty cool because it's early in the year and I haven't been skiing a lot, and that felt good. And then I, after Paul skied so well on the, what do you want to call that? Twin ski? Rockard ski. Twin Rockard mm -hmm. Nano, same construction but a different uh, layup and, and whatever rocker flex thing. Um, it was amazing because uh, I ran a really nice 39. It was really neat how it finishes the uh, turn on both sides. It, it turns with less work so you don't have to push on the ski. And that's what was incredible. I was just pushing at first too much, and then, as Paul said, you know, lighten up a little, just stay open. When I did that, the ski was just there on both sides. It was really cool. You actually had a look at four ball at uh, 41 too on it. Yeah, it was, um, boy, that, this time of year, I don't know, that feels like I could run that fast. Well, cool. Uh, yeah, it's good, yeah. And Paul, you got to try the same, uh, same ski. What were your comments about well, the Nano? You know, I started out at 28 off and went just right down the line and uh, started at 38 off and, and the, the gate was incredible. I felt like I could just pull out nice and smooth. I it just felt solid. I moved in just as light as I possibly ever could have never been able to do it like that before. And it just set the pass up. And I at, at no time did I ever have to pull on the, a, hard against the boat. The ski just turned, I rode it across. Next buoy came, rode it across. I mean, it was so, so much different and so easy. Uh, it's incredible ski. Great. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the nano construction material, carbon fiber normally is a strand like a hair would be solid. These are nano tubes actually, and they're hollow in the center. So they provide a lighter weight and uh, more physical properties uh, within the carbon. Could you feel that out there? Uh, could you feel a little, what, what, what difference did you feel? Well, I felt the ski was quicker out of the buoy, the way it snapped under you and then and took off. It was, even though I love the regular good mid-ride, this felt like it was just a little bit quicker as it came out of the buoy, and, and I think Paul felt the same. It's, yeah, what it allowed was your body position, once you finish the turn, it, your body position was in this right spot without tremendous effort. You, you could almost make little mistakes and it would just boom and the ski would Well, it comes it. under you better. Yeah. Like where before, and it was, you know, on one side you'd have a great turn, the other side you had to sort of work it a little or push it a little, yeah. where this ski seems like it's under you at both sides. It just comes under you and you just... And then just move. And, and it accelerates out of the hole, rebounds even quicker than what I think the traditional mid-ride did. Then it allows you to hold your angle. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. know, that's what we tend to give up. It's yeah. we, we can't finish and be in the right spot and we get drugged yeah. down the course. We pull really hard and then the yeah. zero off pulls back. And well, we force it trying to overturn it and then you yeah. get too much angle and get pulled to the buoy. Yeah. So this allows you to be in the right position, not overload and just swing. Well, the, the twin rocker concept is we actually put a twist down the ski based on whether you're right foot forward or left foot forward. and. As skiers, we turn our onside with our back foot, our offside with the front foot, and the rocker is now in a different spot for each. So it's benefiting your offside turn and the rocker's benefiting your onside turn, something before that has never been possible. Well, and the other thing I really felt, which I've never felt on a ski before, is typically I got a ski that works great at 38, 39, 41. This ski works incredible at 32 even. Couldn't believe the difference. It was just like, wow, I've never had a ski that works at 32 and, you know, 10, 2, 5, 41. Very nice, very nice. That's true. Yeah. Well, great.
Well, so what, what happened? I just went out off the dock and ran 38 off on this incredible ski. It was <laughs> and it wasn't hard to do. <laughs> it was just insane. I love it. I gotta admit, this is, I could make the hair little mistakes here, little hair, you know, and the thing would just go. It was insane. It was beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. Cool. Yep. I love it. Did you see how easy it was to stay open there? Yeah. Yeah. It helps you because it comes under you better. Exactly. And you can't, you know, that was the earliest from one to two, from three to four you've ever been at 30. Because it allowed me to stay open, easy. Yeah, yeah then you can just move across. Oh, and it, it's like the more that you allowed the boat to do the work, yeah, the easier it got. It did. Dave, you were looking at the world record buoy there too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Imagine. I haven't even been skiing. <laughs> oh, wait till I start practicing. 